Dark Ages. Our universe entered a literal Dark Age. This is the Cosmic Dark Ages. The universe was plunged into the Dark Ages. The universe had just entered the era known as the Dark Ages. The Big Bang Universe. This has been the clarion call for decades, based on the cosmic redshift timeline. But thanks to observations made by the James Webb Telescope, this paradigm simply does not hold water anymore. Even the first deep field image brought to us by the James Webb Telescope immediately showed us that there were no Dark Ages, an epoch that was supposed to exist right after the Big Bang. What we see are galaxies, spiral galaxies as close to 180 million years from the supposed Big Bang. You don't need a geologist, let alone a semi-competent cosmologist, to help you realize that creating such a phenomenon in so short a time is ludicrous. Old habits die hard, and since these observations started to emerge, almost every reference to this amazing reality is still being referred to within the cosmic redshift framework. But it raises the question, if the Dark Ages were not there as predicted by cosmic redshift, then how can we trust cosmic redshift as an evolutionary timeline? What if we are actually seeing galaxies receding into the red mist of space? This is not a Big Bang. It's a hydrogen fog of space. It is the event horizon. Thanks to the James Webb Telescope, there is a way we can verify this. In time, this magnificent device will have allowed scientists to gather a significant amount of data on the galaxies that have been discovered in what was formerly called the Dark Ages. Due to the fog of the event horizon, the greater portion of the galaxies to be observed will likely be the most luminous because the vast bulk of unspectacular galaxies will likely be obscured by the event horizon. So what we need to do is draw a comparison. We'll obtain an image of space which is not near the horizon but includes random garden variety galaxies that could be observed in almost any volume of space. We will then place an artificial filter that mimics the event horizon fog by placing it in front of these galaxies so that, like the galaxies inside what was formerly called the Dark Ages, we will only observe the brightest and the most luminous. Then we can draw a comparison between the actual galaxies in the Dark Ages and the normal galaxies with the filter in front and see if they match. If they do, then what we can conclude is what we are seeing in the Dark Ages is just more galaxies, that there is no Big Bang evolution, just more galaxies as they become harder to observe within the fog of the event horizon. This would suggest that cosmic redshift is a mirage, like looking through the wrong end of a pair of binoculars, that only local blue shift and redshift of local galaxies is actually valid. Looking further than that, you're just looking through a glass onion.